summary let us summarize what we have learned in this chapter electrostatic force is a conservative force work done by an external force equal and opposite to the electrostatic force in bringing a charge q from a point r to a point p is vp minus vr which is the difference in potential energy of charge q between the final and initial points potential at a point is the work done per unit charge by an external agency in bringing a charge from infinity to that point potential at a point is arbitrary to within an additive constant since it is the potential difference between two points which is physically significant if potential at infinity is chosen to be zero potential at a point with position vector r due to a point charge q placed at the origin is given by v is equal to kq by r the electrostatic potential at a point with position vector r due to a point dipole of dipole moment p placed at the origin is v is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not p dot r cap divided by r square where r is very very greater than a the result is true also for a dipole with charges minus q and q separated by 2a for r very very greater than a an equipotential surface is a surface over which potential has a constant value for a point charge concentric spheres centered at a location of the charge are equipotential surfaces the electric field e at a point is perpendicular to the equipotential surface through the point e is in the direction of the steepest decrease of potential the potential energy of charge q in an external potential vr is q into vr the potential energy of a dipole moment p in a uniform electric field e is minus p dot e electrostatics field e is zero in the interior of a conductor just outside the surface of a charged conductor e is normal to the surface given by e is equal to sigma by epsilon not n cap where sigma is the surface charge density and n cap is a unit vector normal to the surface in the outward direction charges in a conductor can reside only at its surface also potential is constant within and on the surface of a conductor in a cavity within a conductor with no charges the electric field is zero a capacitor is a system of two conductors separated by an insulator its capacitance is defined by c is equal to q by v where q and minus q are the charges on the two conductors and v is the potential difference between them c is determined purely geometrically by the shapes sizes and relative positions of the two conductors the unit of capacitance is farad 1 farad equals 1 coulomb per volt for a parallel plate capacitor with vacuum between the plates c is equal to epsilon not a by d where a is the area of each plate and d the separation between them if the medium between the plates of a capacitor is filled with an insulating substance that is dielectric the electric field due to the charged particles induces a net dipole moment in the dielectric this effect is called polarization which gives rise to a field in the opposite direction the net electric field inside the dielectric and hence the potential difference between the plates is thus reduced
Consequently, the capacitance C increases from its value C0 when there is no medium vacuum to C is equal to K into C0 where K is the dielectric constant of the insulating substance. The energy stored in a capacitor of a capacitance C with charge Q and voltage V is half into Q divided by V. The electric energy density energy per unit volume in a region with electric field is half epsilon naught E square where E is the electric field. A Van de Graaff generator consists of a large spherical conducting shell of few meter in diameter by means of a moving belt and suitable brushes charge is continuously transferred to the shell and potential difference of the order of several million volts is built up which can be used for accelerating charged particles. That's all in this chapter. Hope you have enjoyed it.